I had an extensive meeting with the Honorable Prime Minister. In the meeting, the Finance Minister, the Defense Minister, the Foreign Minister, and the Home Minister were all present. We discussed at length the situation prevailing in the valley and the need for some steps to be taken. But the consensus that emerged was that a prerequisite for any sort of initiatives in the state, be they of a political or an administrative nature, will require the restoration of a semblance of normalcy, will require that people stop taking the law into their own hands, will require that people stop attacking government property, police stations, and other such buildings. Unfortunately, as much as one wishes not to have to resort to the use of force, when people take it upon themselves to take the law into their own hands, there are consequences to such decisions. And oftentimes, those consequences are serious and tragic. I have, from time to time, been appealing to the people to break this cycle of violence, to stop this system of lawlessness, and to allow the government to take the necessary steps to restore normalcy. Curfew, where announced, will have to be implemented strictly. There will be no other way around this. At the same time, recognizing the need that the problem of Jammu and Kashmir is inherently a political one. Certain initiatives long in the pipeline are possible, provided both the central government and the state government are able to restore that normalcy that is required for those political initiatives to be taken.